Hi everybody, my name is Ed Morris and I'm Technical Manager for Altechnic. Now before we start this video, make sure that you hit subscribe because once you've done that, you're gonna keep updated with all of our problem solving videos, our product related videos, and all the other good content that we put onto YouTube. Now one of the things we'll look at today in this video is heat pumps and the way that we can protect heat pumps in the winter. Now the traditional way that we would protect a heat pump is we using a chemical called glycol. Now glycol is like an antifreeze product and it prevents that fluid from freezing. It's a very traditional way of doing it. Unfortunately, there are some drawbacks when you're using glycol. It's not very good for the environment, it's not very environmentally friendly, you have to be trained to be able to put it into the system, but also it can have impacts on the way that the system actually works. Because it's quite a thick fluid, it impacts on the, on the viscosity of the system, the heat transfer of the medium in the water, so all that kind of stuff added together, it doesn't always make it the best option. Now, there are other ways that you can protect your system from, uh, from freezing in the winter, and we're gonna look at one of those solutions now. Now, what we have here at l Technic is what we call our 108 series of anti freeze valve. Now these can be installed on the flow and return pipes into the heat pump system and the way they work is that if the, if the heat pump was to, was to fail and it's really cold outside, you've got freezing conditions, if the internal water temperature starts to drop to three degrees then this valve will start to open. Now what that process does is it allows the, the system to pull warmer water from inside the property or from warmer parts of the system to prevent that freezing. You're protecting the heat pump, you're protecting your plate heat exchanger and all those other, other products that sit within the heat pump system that could get damaged if they start to freeze. So that's the internal temperature, three degrees will start to open. Once that internal temperature starts to increase again, the valve will close off and you can go back to where you were. But we also have a secondary side of that that we can do, it's a second valve in this system. Now this is another 108 series valve, it's got another really cool built-in feature. So again, we still monitor that internal temperature, we're still looking for that three degrees of water temperature, so we're constantly monitoring that. But what we also have on this one is that we call an external air temperature sensor. Now what this will do is it will monitor the air temperature that's around the heat pump. Now if that's above five degrees, this valve won't open. And the reason for that is because it's deemed that that five degrees will not allow the system water to freeze. So it's always gonna keep around the point just below freezing. Now should that external air temperature stop, start to drop below five degrees, then the valve will start to come into action. So there's a piston which goes all the way through the valve. As that air temperature drops below five degrees, it starts to close, but that opens up a rod inside there, which allows the water to start flowing through. And then it works exactly the same as the other valve. We're pulling that warmer water from around the system. We allow it to dry out, we allow it to stop it from freezing. Once the temperatures start to increase again, we'll shut it off. Now, when we talk about floats, we're almost talking about losing water from the system. If we're looking at about a minus five temperature, we'll only lose about half a litre an hour of water through this. If it gets down as low as minus 25, you're gonna lose about a litre an hour. So it's not a huge amount of water and probably it's only gonna take the excess pressure out of the system so you're not gonna start to lose any fluid. But should you start to lose fluid from the system as well, there's also an anti-vac valve on the top of the valves. Now what that will do is that will open up, allow air to start pulling so you're not gonna get it airlocked so you are gonna keep that warm water pulling through the system. Now, if you want any more information on these valves or any of our valves that sit in our, in our product range, please visit our website, which is www.altechnic.co.uk. Thank you for watching.